What's up everyone? Jeff here with Mad Hatter Organics. On today's how-to, I'm going to be showing you how to mix up nutrients and how to pH it. Let's get into it. This video is sponsored by Mars Hydro, innovators in the LED game. Specializing in home growing and commercial applications, Mars Hydro has what you need. From seedling to harvest, Mars Hydro has got you covered. Whether it be the TS600 for seedlings, SP series for veg, or the FC, FCE series for the most intense lighting for flowering. Use discount code MADHATTER3 for 3% discount at the checkout. So the nutrients that I'll be using today is called Psycho Platinum Series. It's a full kit that you can get at any of your local grow, uh, grow shops or hydroponic stores. And uh, it contains everything you need from start to finish. Plus a few extra additives. You'll see on the chart that you have a Grow A and a Grow B, B1 Boost, an Uptake, Zymes, Silica, and a Doctor Repair. So a few materials you're going to need to get started is a bucket, obviously your nutrients, a measuring device, uh, either a cup, a shot glass, or a syringe. As you can see, I have both the syringe and the cup. And a pH and TDS meter. I have this Blue Labs combo kit. Uh, you don't need to go this extreme with things. You can just get uh, a $40 or $50 HANA pen off Amazon or eBay. But uh, this is what I have to use today, so this is what I'm going to be using. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measurement of my pH and my EC. So as you can see, my pH is at 7.2. And my EC out of the tap is at 0.4. Now I've dechlorinated, uh, and filtered all this water so it should be half decently clean now this combo meter uses EC but it's easy enough to find a conversion chart online uh, but you'll need to know what scale you're using I'm using this 500 uh, ppm HANA scale so I'm gonna start uh, so my starting ppm will be around 200 ppm First, you want to add your silica. If you don't add this first, the silica will pull all the nutrients out of solution, creating a weird fog uh, in your bucket or res. Uh, silica will help strengthen plant cells, cell walls. Uh, it will also help them fend off insects and pathogens, uh, remain strong against harsh winds, and even protect them against heavy metals. I'm going to go ahead and get a cup. Uh, take a cup of water out of the bucket and just use this as my uh, my res for right now. It's just going to dilute the water uh, or dilute the nutrients and the, and the silica and whatnot. So I'm in transition week uh, going from veg to flower. So I'm going to do uh, pretty much a heavy mixture of veg. Uh, don't want to quite give it bloom just yet, but we will uh, we will get there. It's it's in that transition phase, so it's going to be doing a lot of stretching, a lot of growth. So we want to continue to give it a little bit of uh, veg needs until you start seeing good amount of uh, flowering happening. Then that's when you start giving full flower uh, nutrients. So I'm going to go ahead and add. Uh, one mil per liter 
uh, or four mils per gallon of silica, which works out to be about 20 mils of silica for the five gallons of water that I have. Go ahead and put your silica away. And you'll want to leave your uh, silica, diluted silica, in uh, in that cup for about ten minutes. Let uh, let it do its thing, so it just it breaks down all the nutrients into that water, and it's not uh, as, as concentrated and as strong. So next up, we're gonna go and grab the. Row A and B. So this will be at a dilution of three mils per liter or nine mils per gallon. hundred and forty six minutes later so once your diluted silica in the cup has been sitting for 10 minutes you can just go ahead and add it into your reservoir well, just like I said uh, row a is nine mils per gallon so we'll just go ahead and add that into your res row a contains two percent nitrogen and 4% calcium and grow B contains 2% nitrogen 2% phosphate 6% potash and 0.7% magnesium these two bottles have all your NPK values and make up all your meats and potatoes you need to get through uh, the veg stage also eliminating the use for another bottle of CalMag uh, follow the chart for proper ratios of what stage growth you're in Next up, we have the B1 Boost. B1 Boost is an additive uh, used throughout vegetative and flowering periods of the plant growth. Um, used at higher concentration in veg growth than in flower. Uh, B1 contains high amounts of natural vitamin B, also known as thymine. This is going to be at a dilution of 2 mils per liter or 8 mils per gallon. Thymine is a natural vitamin that is present in, plant, in the plant, uh, natural bacteria, excrements, and uh, native fungi. Uh, providing a, a constant presence of thymine. Root growth is encouraged, thereby allowing for healthy and new growth. Uh, B1 is also a strong source of pharmaceutical grade potassium and a necessary ingredient to plant growth enzymes, protein formations, and the translocation of sugars. Uh, potassium in B1 allows for vibrant and healthy growth. Next up, we have uptake. This will be mixed at a dilution of one mil per liter or four mils per gallon. Now, uptake is uh, is there to increase your uh, micronutrient uptake in your plant and it's uh, pretty much just a, a humic acid now you should be mixing these between every uh, every addition of nutrients 
give it a little stir, making sure that it's all mixed up. Now, next up, we have Zyme, Psycho Zyme. This is pretty much just a little bit of extra nitrogen, but uh, Zyme's there to enhance growth when used in a hydroponic system uh, and like uh, soil free systems like a peat or, or a cocoa. Uh, you wanna make sure you're giving all these bottles a good shake. Uh, set, you know, if they are heavy in, in something, then they might all settle down to the bottom. So just making sure you give it a good shake. Now this is a di dilution of two mils per gallon or uh, two mils per liter. So we'll do eight mils per gallon. So if you see the chart and it says silica next, uh, like I said at the beginning, also always add your silica first. If you if you add it in before your nutrients, uh, it'll create this white fog, and then it'll start pulling all these nutrients out of solution, and it'll just kind of clump up and look weird. Uh, it's not it's not good for your nutrients. It's pretty much just a waste. It uh, might as well just throw it out. But uh, that covers pretty much the basics of the veg newts. Um, you can get a couple different additives like Rhizofuel and a Grow XL. Uh, it's not really that major. You can if you want, but uh, we're just gonna stick to the basics for now. Uh, also, if your plants are having any sort of uptake issues or CalMag issue or, or anything like that, uh, you can go ahead and get your doctor repair. Uh, this is going to uh, help design, or it's designed to breathe new life into your plants by treating iron deficiencies. Uh, one of the most common causes of chlorosis. So it gives it a little bit extra nitrogen boost uh, and chelated iron. I'm not going to go on, I'm not going to add this. I don't need this. I don't have any issues with my plants as, as of right now. So, uh, these are just the basics that, uh, I'm going to use. So now that we have everything mixed up, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn back, turn back on the blue lab meter, check the pH. It's sitting at 7.4. We're going to give it a good mix. at 7.3 so we're gonna go ahead and check the EC so we're at 1.7 it calls for 2.1 EC uh, I went a little bit light on a few of those things like the grow A and B um, not really a, a heavy feeder uh, I, I, I like to kind of starve my plants a little bit but uh, that will work out to 850 ppm uh, what we started with was 0.4, so we're going to deduct 0.4 off that 1.7, which will bring it down to 1.3. So now that I've deducted that, it's going to be sitting at a 650 ppm. Pretty decent for a veg ppm. Uh, some people might say that it's on the low side, but that's just me. Uh, I'm going to be raising that uh, throughout the whole... Uh, flowering life cycle and uh, and I'll be getting to that 2.3 EC by the time I'm I'm at full bloom full full cycle so now we're gonna get into pHing your already mixed nutrients uh, nutrient solution uh, this bottle is pretty gnarly I've had it for a while a few years now I, I don't really use it too often I don't do too many salt uh, salt bottled nutrient runs but yeah she's she's pretty gnarly but this is just ph down an acid solution from green planet nutrients went ahead and gave that a good shake and just grab a whole 10 milliliters of that
and I start to add it in. I'll put my pH meter, put my pH meter up there. And I'll start adding some in. All while mixing it up. Now this is cocoa, so it is kind of a hydroponic uh, type media. So I want to aim for about 6.0. Uh, some people do about 5.8 and some people do 6.2 to 6.5. I like to go 6.0 and then that way it will raise itself up over a period of a few days. Well, it'll go up to about that 6.5 range. Now, after adding about eight milliliters of pH down, my pH is now sitting at 6.0. It's still at 1.7 EC. Go ahead and check your temperature as well, if you want. It's sitting at 19 Celsius, 20 Celsius. I don't know what that is in freedom units, probably sitting around 70. Well guys, I hope you pulled a little bit of information out of that uh, how to on uh, mixing up nutrients and pHing your uh, nutrient solution. Uh, I know it's taken me quite a while and it could be, it, it, it can be somewhat of an intimidating task to some people. Uh, you know, you might not know every little aspect of it and why we do certain things like adding silica first uh, and pHing at the end and taking those proper measurements before and after. Um, a lot of growers will make a few mistakes uh, along the ways with uh, mixing nutrients like that, but we live and we learn. Uh, that's why I'm here and that's why a bunch of other uh content creators are out there teaching teaching the proper ways of doing things uh like i said i mixed up my nutrients on the light side just because i'm not a big heavy feeder uh i found that i've had a few too many issues with going a little heavier and uh sometimes less is more so uh with all that being said guys uh just want to give a huge shout out to mars hydro for hooking me up with the 5x5 tent you see behind me here and the SF6500 that's inside of it lighten up my plants um, go ahead and use discount code MADHATTER3 for 3% discount off your entire order and uh, one last shout out to Autopods USA for uh, also hooking me up with a whack load of their gear um, sending me out that 6.6 .6 gallon XL setup uh, been just absolutely blowing my plants out of the water uh -huh. so yeah go ahead and use my discount code there at uh, mad hatter 10 for 10 percent off your entire order at their autopot usa website with all that being said guys yeah.